Look at this. We got ourselves a pie. That's what we're making today. What's in the pie? Mmm, meat products. Some nice beef. And this is a steak pie. Let's get to it. The first thing we're going to throw in is some mushrooms. Give them a clean. One onion too. I don't know if I'm going to use the whole thing. I may just cut up half. And now well, let's do it all. It's going to work out to about a cup of uh, diced onions. However you like them. All right, that's not all. Let's get them all chopped now. Just like that. And as with the onions, you cut them however you want. So I'm throwing them into a bowl because they're all going in the frying pan together. Look at that. Our last big prep the meat. It's about two pounds of stewing beef. I'm kind of checking to make sure they're bite size. If you want big hunks of stewing beef, your option. It's your pie. I just like them bite size, so I think we're good to go. Now here's my Dutch oven. I don't get to use a lot of it. We're going to throw a little, about a tablespoon of oil in the bottom. Get that up to speed. Medium-high heat. And then we're going to throw in our stewing beef, one pound at a time. Enough to basically fill up the bottom of the pan. I think I caught one that was a little too big. Now this doesn't have to be 100% cooked. As long as it's close, that'll do. And we're going to take it and get it out of the pan for our second lift and I can't believe I tried not using a spoon so I had to go get myself one yummy see I'd make a super thick gravy with that right now but we will later second lift into the pot she goes and as with the first one, give it a little stir, a few minutes each side, there. Now this is all going to go back in the pot, but we got to kind of drain all that juice out. I'm not going to sit and wait for it to cook. So there's what we got in meat, quite a bit actually. Should ought to fill the pie tin. Um, another tablespoon of oil, I've dumped most of the juice out. And in goes our onions and mushrooms. And this is going to take a few minutes. About, you know, four or five minutes to cook it down. So it's something like that. About half the size. Now to this, we're going to add four tablespoons of flour. So I'm just kind of trying to spread it out so it doesn't get all stuck in one big clump at the bottom. There. Now we're going to stir it all around. It all combined with the meat and that. And that's going to thicken our, our gravy down the road. So there you go. We've let that cook for a couple minutes. Now we're putting in our meat. Into the pot we go. Yummy. Give that a little mix around. So everything's nice and combined. Combined dish. It doesn't have to be perfect, and this is going to go in the oven, so it'll all be good. There. That looks pretty good. Now we need to season it up a bit. So let's go over to the counter. Pulled out a measuring cup. Okay, we've got about two cups of water, and this is beef um, liquid. If you've got bouillon cubes, you'd have to boil the water, obviously, follow the directions. This is the same thing, but a hell of a lot easier, I find. And this is just going to up the flavor of the stewing beef. I almost forgot this part. 
tablespoon of ketchup. And we mix that all around with the meat. And now a tablespoon-ish of Worcestershire sauce. Mix that all around. Now we can put our liquid in. Stir it all around. It is kind of liquidy at this point, but with the flour and everything, it's going to mix up. A little salt, a little pepper, to your taste, of course. Bring it up to a simmer. Give it a couple stirs. It's looking really good right now. I'm just kind of checking the bottom to make sure nothing's sticking. It's looking all right to me. Put the lid on. Now this is going to go in the oven for two hours. 325 Fahrenheit. This is the halfway point. Now we're in. We got to check it out. Ooh. See how it's starting to thicken up a bit. But it's still got a little ways to go. I can definitely see a difference at this point, and it smells fantastic. Lid back on, and back in the oven for the next hour. And here we are. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. That's going to make a good pie filling, I think. There. Let's put it off to the side. Okay, our next step is this. There's some puff pastry. I don't normally work with it, so I'm a little unsure of myself. But anyway, I, I get the idea here. We're just going to put a crust on top. So I've rolled it out. There's my pie tin right there. And I'm just trying to see how much puff pastry I need. So we'll cut it off just like that. Because it's wrapped in paper too, right? I'll put that aside. I'll think of something to do with the little bit that's left over. I'll make a treat, maybe. So the puff pastry, we kind of peel it off. Before we put that on top, there's our beef mixture, our steak pie mixture. yum -y. And I'm just going to throw it in the pie tin. Just like that. Oh, it's nice and steamy and good at this point. That looks good. I think it filled it up quite well. Now, the recipe said, take an egg, crack it, mix it all up, and that's our egg wash. And why do we need an egg wash? Well, for the crust to kind of golden up. But the recipe also said to brush the inside of the pie tin. I guess technically it's a pie plate because it's not really made out of tin, but you get the idea. So you want to brush that egg all around the edges to kind of help seal the puff pastry. And then we're ever so carefully going to get that onto the top of our pie. Uh, it's not the best of fits, but it's pretty close. We'll cut all the excess out to make it look like a proper pie. And then I got this great idea. What to do with the leftovers. I told you, I'm bagging up the leftovers. Then I thought, hey, why not make a smiley face? So that's what I made. With the little bits and pieces I had. I thought it looked pretty cool. So I'm trying to cut slits in the dough for, you know, vents. I'm not sure how well I did. And then we're going to paint Mr. Face with the rest of our egg. I don't want it to go to waste, so why not throw some on top? It'll brown up really well. And boy, does it ever brown up really well. I should have realized what would have happened. This needs to go in the oven now 20 minutes at four and a quarter. Now I kept it in for 30 because my brother called 
So it got a little too dark to see the face. Eh, if you look real close, you can still see it. But it's a beautiful golden brown. We're going to let it cool off for a little bit until I can actually hold it with my hands. About a half an hour. Now we've got to cut into it. There. All right. Time to scoop out. You know, the first piece of any kind of pie is always the toughest. This one, the gravy kind of held the meat together. So it wasn't horrible, but it sure didn't look super neat. I got that one first, then I got another plate. So I get that bowl all filled up, and I've got a white plate that I'm putting mine on. There it is for show. It looks yummy. Yummy for sure. And that is the end result of dinner. There's nothing left. You know it's a good meal when that happens. Hey, another great recipe. I hope you'll give it a try. Leave me a comment below, one way or the other. Listen, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell because that'll tell you the next time I upload a video. Feel free to share this in any of my other videos. And thanks for stopping by and watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.